let's go ahead and configure our traffic shaper you can always find that here firewall and then traffic shaper on our traffic shaper we go to the wizard let's select our scenario our scenario is dedicated links we only have one LAN and one WAN but if you have multiple LAN you can choose this one so I'm going to go for the dedicated links number of one is only one so if you have more than that you specify it here next and here on our uh, shaper configuration our local interface is LAN there are three choices here PRIC, PRIQ, HFSC and CBQ now I want to show you something I uh, found on the internet this dude here from Torbu Future I would recommend using the default which is HFSC if you need only basic shaping you could use PRIC priority keying which is simple to modify but not as efficient okay so it's good to use HFSC and in the connection upload box I recommend entering 97% of the connections maximum bandwidth for the upload only okay, for the download we are going to use the maximum so we're going to go for HFSC and um, upload would be I have a hundred meg here let's go for 97 because that's 97 percent of 100 in the download would be a hundred megabits okay and then we go for next if you have voice over IP running on your network, you can enable this one that will allow your voice network to be in a priority level. But for me, I do not have any voice over IP on my setup, so I, can, uh, I will choose not to enable this one. Next. And how about penalize or penalty box? This is one of the interesting things I like about PFSense because we have a penalty box where we can put all those uh, IPs or users who use too much of our bandwidth if you have watched my video on monitoring bandwidth with NTAP and you have seen somebody using too much of your bandwidth then you can group them if it's only one you can put the IP address here now if you have more than one IP you can create an alias like this one it says here this will lower the priority of traffic from this IP or alias okay once again if you do not know what alias means you can go for uh, this one aliases on the firewall and then let's check that one you can put a lot of IPs here group them as one uh, so for say add uh, you can put a name top users top users and then let's say I don't know what kind of description we put there host a lot of IPs here then that 10.10.100 maybe a uh, add host 10.10.10.101 save apply changes uh, you can add more IPs here so that you can put it on our traffic shaper so let's go back to our traffic shaper you can see it here let's try to enable that one we can put the alias here top users the one we created earlier what's the bandwidth we can say put 10 here and it, this will be 10 percent of the total bandwidth we have we can just let them use that amount of traffic so that they are not going to overuse all of our bandwidth so that's the good thing about your penalty box let's go for next we can enable our traffic shaper to lower the priority of the peer-to-peer -peer traffic these are mostly the traffic that uses too much of our bandwidth when downloading like torrents and most of those torrent protocols are listed here so you can select which one you want to lower the priority level so let's just lower that one if you enable this one it will catch all those uncategorized traffic and it will be added like a p2p key so for me it's kind of very very broad and sometimes it will lower traffic that you don't want them to be lowered so I'll just leave this one not enabled you can select which one you want to enable to be lowered so if you want to check all of this it would be good also now sometimes maybe you will be using some of these protocols so it's good thing that you know how to monitor your traffic try and check my video on the bandwidth monitoring so that you know if you really want to lower these traffics but if not then just go ahead and turn it on
we can also prioritize network gaming traffic so we'll just go ahead and enable this one these are the specific game consoles that they have listed here so if you want this one to be prioritized go ahead and turn them on specific games if you want to and so on and so forth there are a lot of there how about other network protocols uh, raise or lower the applications so they are grouped already we can check this one and for example Apple remote desktop you can select a higher priority or a lower priority now it's up to you what are the applications you want here messengers VPN you can choose to hire the priority streaming if you want to hire the priority go ahead HTTP mail they are all listed here so that will be your option just so you know you have default priority higher priority and lower priority all right let's go for next and then it's done so we click finish okay the filter is already reloaded if you want to customize your your shaper you, you can always go to firewall and then rules and then go for floating we have it here these are all the traffic shaper that we have created now if you want to edit this one for example the port numbers you can click edit and there you go you can try to edit this one if there are other port numbers you want to be there now if you want to monitor this one if it's working or you want to see what's happening you can go to status and then go for keys there you go and then you can see what's happening here these are all the configurations we did and this is how we can monitor this, this one if it's working for us now this is live and you can see that this is refreshing at around one second so it's moving it's working for us that's how we take advantage of this traffic shaper the pfsense have i hope you have learned something with this traffic shaper configuration that we did and hope to see you in my next video this is Torogi pro and if it's your first time here don't forget to subscribe like my videos and until next time, goodbye.